This is what every marketer has to know with Mark Lack. What is up underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, and you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything and we are getting started right now. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell. The first thing is, is you gotta understand people are gonna perceive you and judge you and if you can be aware of how you want to at least have that happen, then you can capitalize on it in a better way. Like what I mean is if you go and you just watch like a little bit, follow and watch a little bit of Gary Vaynerchuk's content versus Oprah's content, Marie Forleo's content, Tony, uh, Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, Lewis House, they're all gonna be perceived completely different. And that's the point is they're all badasses, but they're all gonna be perceived differently. So how do you want me and all of the people looking at you to perceive you? Then once you have that figured out, What's the actual problem you're gonna solve? So first, being aware of how people are gonna judge you and perceive you so you can take advantage of that. Do I wanna be the traveler? Do I wanna be the guy that has like the cars, the jets, the girls, and the money? Or do I wanna be the family man? So I'm gonna take advantage of how I'm gonna be perceived, and then I'm gonna identify a problem in the world that I can then solve through a product, a service, education, anything like that. So it's being aware of how I want to be perceived, and then identifying what's the problem in the industry that I actually wanna solve. And so, if you start solving a problem for people, then you can actually add value, and then through adding that value, you start to build more of a following. Because the last thing we need is another fucking fitness influencer posting pictures of them. Like we don't, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. But if you can go out there and you can provide education, if you can provide you know, products and services that change people's lives, that's I think the real missing key in a lot of personal brands is, there's a lot of people that have million, a million followers, but their bank account doesn't match their followers. They have a million followers, but they only you know, make a uh, hundred grand a year. Um, and so I think that if you're impacting a million people's lives, how you impact them by actually solving a problem is why you're gonna make more money. And if you're just posting pictures of you, you know, and you have a million <laughs> followers, that's why you're not making money, because you're not actually solving shit. You're not actually <laughs> doing any, that's why a lot of them have a million followers, but they don't make, like I might, I think I have like across all my channels, I have like 80,000 followers across all my channels, but I make millions of dollars. And so it's like, cause if I'm actually solving a problem for a small group of 80,000 people, I'm reaching millions of people every month, but like my followers mm -hmm. is only about 80,000 across all my channels. Um, but the point is I can make millions of dollars cause I'm actually impacting and changing people's lives. Simple as that, right? You know, so two practical steps I want to share with you that you can apply right now in your business is three, get crystal clear on your three objectives, adjectives I meant. And what I mean by that is like, what are the three characteristics that you want your audience perceiving you by. For me, specifically, is that I want my audience to perceive me as intelligent, successful, and inspiring. Those three are my, are my adjectives. So, all of my posts on social media, and all my YouTube videos, and all my podcast episodes, I are geared towards me presenting myself as intelligent, successful, and inspiring. All of them. When you're, when you know what you want, to, how you want to be perceived, you can act as if. And I'm not saying that I'm faking it or nothing, but like I know how I want to be perceived, and that it makes things a hell of a lot easier whenever you're creating your content. At that point, it doesn't even become like you're creating your content; you're just letting it flow. At that point, you get what I'm saying. You're like in a flow state. It's like a cool buzzword everybody uses. Uh, and another thing is always, 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 always be talking in the terms of the specific problem that you solve for your specific audience. If you're always posting about that and talking about that, and I don't mean like talking about trying to sell people on your Facebook post, just like literally giving advice about that problem or talking about it or however way you do it, you can do it in so many different ways and good combinations by using all those different ways. As long as you're always talking about that problem that you specifically solve, that's how you're gonna brand and position yourself a lot better. And if you want my 33 branding and positioning tactics that I use across all my social media platforms that have allowed me to go from prison to promised land, check it out, it's in the description below. Uh, if you want to watch more videos that are going to help you with your branding and marketing specifically in your business, make sure you check out this playlist right there. 
And if you want to check out this full interview that I had with Mark Lack, it's on underdogempowerment.com, iTunes, uh, Google Play, and Stitcher. I'll have all those links in the description below as well. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Seriously, uh, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications, that way you don't miss anything. And Underdog Fam, I will see you on the next video. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. Uh, this that Underdog Empowerment. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.